What's up, world? I am TJ, and this is Native Res Media, your place for opinionated tech news, reviews, and entertainment. So, uh, I needed a new computer case for my uh, computer. Uh, mine was getting a little bit outdated, so I decided to do an upgrade. So, I first settled on this one. This is the uh, Musitex uh, TW8S6 case. I'm going to uh, go over the case in a whole after I finish doing everything that I've done to it so far. Uh, this is what to expect if you do plan on purchase in this case. Uh, this case today goes for anywhere from $89 to $115 depending on where you purchase it from. It, it sold on Newegg, Amazon. Uh, I bought this one from Amazon, paid $97 and that was with tax here in the US. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right into this overview. All right, sorry about the framing here. Uh, basically, I wanna make sure I get the case in view of the camera. So uh, starting off at the top of this case, uh, it has space for a 240 millimeter uh, RAD or a 120. Back has space for a 120. Of course, you can put two uh, 140 millimeter fans on top. In the back, you can put a 120 millimeter fan back there for exhaust. In the front, you can put up to three 120 or three 140 fans up here as well. I believe it's, yeah, three 140 fans uh, and or a 360 millimeter uh, radiator or AIO, something like that. Uh, this case uh, is mostly metal, a little bit of plastic on the front. It does have the mesh front. Uh, it, is, it does come with three ARGB fans and here are the fans that it came with right here and i've installed some uh different fans from asia horse some f uh 9002s in here i think they're f 9002s let me take a look here yeah fs 9002s and i'll link them down below uh i like those fans better the asia horse ones because they you know they're similar to this with the rgb ring and the rgb fan but the controller does have a pwm functionality to where you can use the motherboard cpu headers which mine has two uh, to control the actual uh, fans themselves the case fans so that if the uh, computer is just at idle the fans are at a very uh, minimal uh, fan speed and at not as loud so and then when you start gaming or do anything intensive uh the cpu fan kicks up then the uh, case fans will kick up to get that uh, hot air out of there and get some cool air in so uh we'll go on to uh, the uh inside of this case here so something that i didn't like oh and this here is just a uh, one of those uh, light bars by GIM. Got it from Amazon for like 12 bucks. I'll link that down below as well. It's an ARGB light bar. Uh, and I'll you know go over all that stuff one day when I start doing some more computer reviews and things like that. Uh, let me open up the door. So one thing I like about this door is that it just has a ring, kind of like the cell phone rings on the back of them. That's pretty much the same setup. It probably came from a cell phone case or something like that so you uh it, it lays flush you open it up pull this out and this swings open the uh tempered glass on the side here is nestled in there with some uh some hinge pins that's it you can just slide this up to remove it and set this to the side on the interior of this case if you look i have a uh just a tower cooler uh, on here it's a the corsair one uh, and then you got your fans i have 32 gigabytes of uh internal ram in here in the tough wi-fi motherboard there uh, the b550 i believe and the uh, my psu 750 watts but down here at the bottom the shroud i do not like the cutout in the psu shroud i'm the type w that would prefer all this to be covered up this to be covered up and just have some of the fan cooling blow here you can put uh 120 millimeter fans down here at the bottom as well to intake some air from in there and blow it out or you can exhaust air through there if you want as well but uh, i don't have anything down there just have the fans around the outside here uh one thing uh that i don't like is this has no grommets for the uh cable management or anything like that it has just open bays here you can mount two ss well two or three ssds in on the side here in this case if you'd like um but i don't have any here because on the back which is what i'll get to here in a second uh there is a spot for a couple ssds back here as well this has the uh 
magnetized uh, dust filter on the top. Just stick that back there. It does have two USB 3.0 ports up here. It has a headphone jack. It has a mic jack my, or mic input. It has your power button and it has uh, what is labeled as an LED button. But that LED button is what usually uh, when the uh, uh, when it comes installed, it controls the fans uh, on here. So basically the ARGB fans, if your motherboard does not have an ARGB header, that's the three pin header, you can use this to click through uh, the controller that this comes with to change the fan color settings and things like that. It has a decent amount of settings and I'll go over that as well and show those to you later on. Uh, but because now I don't uh, have the uh, stock one really installed on here and because I don't have any of the stock fans because I have the Asia horse fans installed in here. But uh, when I break this down, which I will, uh, I'll um, uh, put the stock fans back in here, light it up just so you can see uh, some of the uh, features and colors from the, these fans, which these are nice. They're very uh, bright, colorful, and that's probably mostly what you're paying for whenever you get this case. You can see all the fans are on two top, one rear exhaust, three front fans uh, hooked to uh, its own proprietary controller there. If you look on top, there is your power button and then there is a uh, LED slash reset button right there. If you press and hold that, it will switch to the motherboard's control, which I don't have a motherboard installed. I just have it. I'm using my other case over there to uh, uh, hook up to the SATA for power for the fans. So this would be onto the motherboard's ARGB. You would hook that three pin connector up to your motherboard and it would control that. So I'm gonna press and hold this to turn it back on. Then I'm gonna turn off this light here uh, and just cycle through some of the fan uh, settings here. So if I just click the button, it'll cycle through the different colors. Do it pretty quick here. So you got your solid colors, breathing effects and things like that. Got your greens, your baby blues, breathing, your purples, your breathing there, and then uh, your rainbow again. So if you look under, you can see everything is lighting up. And if I hit it again, I think get yep, back to the beginning there, where it just cycles through the different colors. I'm gonna bring my uh, boom mic over so that you can kind of hear the fans with the door open and closed. and that is all six fans uh, what I'm presuming to be running at full speed probably 1800 rpms there and you cannot turn those down can't turn them up I would have liked this case to have uh, a button on here with three different fan settings low medium high so if I'm just looking at YouTube or something turn it on low if I'm just doing some light editing turn it on medium if I'm doing gaming or anything like that to turn it on high so that uh, the fan speeds can be adjusted uh, this case is you know $97 this is not a $97 case honestly this is a uh, a 50 60 dollar case uh, even with temper glass, you can find cases just like this all over the internet for 50, 60 bucks. You're paying that extra 30, 40 dollars for the ARGB fans. And I guess for six of them, it's a deal. But uh, when you get into uh, preferences based on who you are, this controller, which is right here, this is the Musitex controller that's installed on a lot of their uh, cases. Uh, it has no PWM functionality or remote functionality to where you can actually turn the fan speed up or down. So it just turns the fans on. They probably run at 12, 1300 RPMs the whole time. So if you're the type of person where you're sitting around in the dark late at night and you got six fans going at 12, 1300 RPM, that can get annoying. So uh, keep that in mind before you purchase this case. Uh, if you are someone who likes it to, you know, get quiet when you're quiet, then think about getting uh, some PWM fans and trying to find a case that does not have pre-installed, especially ARGB expensive fans in it. Um, what else? Uh, that's pretty much it for the inside. It's just your standard run-of-the-mill case. It's your ATX uh, motherboards, mini micros, and things like that as well. And let's slide to the back here. 
Oh, and you know what? Let me do this. Since I do have this plugged in, I, I'm going to turn it on. I don't have a monitor, so it's going to yell at me a little bit here once I turn this on. And I'm going to spin up these Asia Horse fans here so you can see them. And you can see the, uh, I'm going to smooth that. You can see the RGB uh, LED uh, addressable light strip there. So, like I said, this, this, this is a pretty nice cheap and expensive way to lighten up your computer this is how small this computer is i don't know i think this is 1.3 feet here it does not fit inside this you can put it vertically somewhere uh, if you can stick it down in there you can fit it there but it doesn't fit along the bottom of this which uh because this case is more compact than a lot of a lot of uh mid-sized cases my other case was a little bit longer and this light strip probably would have fit inside of it i don't have my other case i actually gave it away to a friend of mine that i was building the computer for switch this thing around to the back let me see here i might have to unplug it yep i'm gonna have to unplug it so i'm gonna turn this off which is a no 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 unplug it come to the back excuse the wire the mess back here because i just threw these fans in here to test them out see how they sound inside this case and so i have done uh basically zero wire management and uh, if you look here, this is the Asia Horse hub. Again, this is the hub that comes installed. It has double-sided six sticky tape. It's not really stuck to anything, but it will be sitting here as well inside this case. And it has six ports for the six fans that this comes installed with. Um, uh, it has a SATA connection for power. You just uh, put plug that into your uh, one of your SATA cables that are coming out of your uh, PSU and get your power. So let me set that down. Oh, and it's exposed PCB. I don't really like that, but I guess it's small. It's compact. It, it makes sense for the build. And it also it comes with uh, a couple of headers for uh, ARGB lights. So you could just plug one of these ARGB lights, not this one, but one of these light strips here, uh, if it is made for this connector right into this uh, hub as well. So uh, the Asia Horse hub, like, like I said, it's a little bit bigger. I have it here and um, it has SATA connection as well, but this one can hold 10 fans. So I can plug up 10 uh, ARGB fans to the Asia Horse hub. It has PWM and the downside to any of these hubs, just like if you look at one of these fans, is these uh, fan headers here or the proprietary. So this fan header won't plug into an asia horse one the asia horse one won't plug into the music text technically you can force them and they will fit and the fans will run and the argb will work if i plug these this fan into here which i did try if you plug this into the asia horse hub which horse hub it, it, it'll fit in there it'll light up it'll spin but all the other fans along the lines won't run in pwm mode they'll run at I'm not going to say maximum speed, but I believe so. They're, they'll run at maximum speed and you won't be able to control PWM, but the ARGB will work with the outside fan. Uh, and, and same as these fans. These fans can plug into the Musitex hub. ARGB will work. Fans will spin, but there's no PWM built into this one. So I, what I'm thinking is the way these uh, Chinese fans are wired up, it's all similar, uh, but there's a little microchips or something in the controllers of course because ARGB is digital so the way they are wired up sometimes the PWM will work depending on if you cross them over into a different uh, manufacturers hubs but um, uh, some of the things won't work uh, I haven't blown up a computer, a, a, a computer yet I've used three different uh, of those Chinese fans. I had the GIM ones too and the GIM hub, which did come with a remote to turn the fan speed up and down. And I plugged this fan, which was the ones that came with the Musitex case into that hub and it worked just fine. The GIM hub, I didn't like that one because it pulsed. Uh, it had, uh, it when you put it down to lower speed, it would have a, a rumble. All right, so other than that, I mean, uh, you know, the case, it's straightforward. Uh, you can fit, you know, uh, clearly you can fit a normal size GPU in here. This is a, a 3070. I don't even remember the length of this, but I mean, 
you can probably go 30 90 without any issues in here as long as you don't have any uh, uh, radiator sticking out too far but if you're just going strictly air cooling like mine is set up for you'll be fine and like I said, this Cooler Master Hyper 212 there, it fits in there just fine. It has about, with the side case on there, another half inch to an inch of clearance before it uh, will touch that glass. On the bottom of this case, there is a dust filter, cheaply made dust filter for uh, the uh, PSU. It just slides kind of down in there and sits along the sides. So my overall conclusion of this case, uh, you know, would I keep this? Probably not. Uh, $97, your money can be better spent elsewhere. I'm going to tell you uh, why. So if you go on Newegg, you find a case that does not have ARGB fans in it uh, for $40, 50 bucks. You can buy some nice Asia horse fans or even, you know, up to some Corsair QL 120s or what is the LL 120s with their controllers and things like that. That's going to get you, uh, you know, uh, probably a bigger case with better fans in it than this case and have some kind of PWM functionality. Uh, the case that I'm replacing this one with actually is the uh, Metallic Gear uh, Neo Cube. Uh, so, our Cube Neo. Yeah, so that's the one that I have coming. Let me check the name on that one. Yeah, the case that I have coming is the Metallic Gear Neo Cube. Uh, it's a copy of the Lee and Lee O11 Dynamic case, and then now they have the O11 Dynamic or the the Evo that's just uh, been released. But uh, I have the uh, black version of that coming. I'm gonna take all this stuff out, put it into that, and get that one set up uh, because that case is a lot bigger than this. That case was only about 120 i think it was 120 is what i paid for it on new egg uh, and it's a lot bigger has a lot more features has grommets everything like that uh, it does not come with fans but of course i already have fans uh, that from uh, asia horse so overall you'd be paying a lot more uh if you have to purchase uh, ARGB fans and a controller and things like that but you're going to get more for your money when you go that route if you don't need anything that big you can forego getting a case with fans and then purchase some fans and then install them you probably save money and you're going to have more features that way as well uh if you just want to just jump into something get something quick i mean these music tech cases they're not bad uh but uh they're not like the best especially based on what you could have gotten five years ago so you can see how the fans are installed this front mesh just pops right on off of there and yeah, pop that back on there and on the back all right, I'll close that up you can see the uh, io ports the shield there you have your seven um io slots there for your gpu and any kind of um, external wi-fi cards things like that that you want to put on there and this one thing that i do want to know this does have a space for uh the uh, gpu to set sit vertically in here um but uh, you still need to get a, a, a riser for it, which is a lot cheaper to just get that uh, PCIe riser than getting a whole kit that, to make your uh, GPU sit vertically. Um, like the, uh, I think it was a, the Easy DIY kit that you can buy to sit your GPU vertically. You can just plop it in there, screw the GPU in, get the riser extension, plug it in, and you are good to go with no issues there so that is a, a positive but you know honestly looks wise if you if they put grommets on this case and made it slightly bigger it would be nice but if you need something that's got a small form factor already having fans installed and if you don't mind not having that pwm controllability from the fans go with this case it's a it's it's nice but uh stand by and uh wait uh, for my next review on the uh, metallic gear case uh, there's a few reviews out on that so i figured why not when i get it i'll do an unboxing get it put together assemble assembled put my junk in there and then uh, go with that uh, hope you guys like this video if you have any questions about this case this is the uh, musatex tw8 s6 case uh, let me know and uh, comment down below 
Thank you guys again for watching. Have a wonderful day. Be safe. Peace.